Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. This is Brother Eric, Local 308 Boogeyman. Look, two important dates I need you to know. If you're a shop worker, rail car repairer, servicer, motor blower, we're having a uh, special pick meeting just for us workers. This is, uh, you can call it the pre-pick meeting maybe. Uh, I want to be ready. I want to be ready for whenever the CTA has their pick meeting with the union, which I will have to be present as executive board in the shops. So I want to be ready. I want to have strategy. I want to I want to have a uh, marching orders, marching orders, uh, direction, guidance from you, the shop workers. Also, March 12th, we've got a membership meeting, really important meeting. Um, bylaws are going to go up to be uh, bylaw proposals to make the uh, union officials six digit salaries permanent. We have to shut it down. We don't want anything dictating union officer salaries except the democratic will of the membership. We wanna be able to lower their pay. We wanna be able to raise their pay, whatever it is. Hey, I'm one of them now, I'm, I'm elected, okay? Uh, I don't need any more money than I already get. The membership cannot afford to pay these bloated salaries the executive board is taking 10 percent premium for their union time so you adding 10 percent to your normal normal hourly rate uh unless you're full-time uh if you're full-time you don't need it not a part-timers who are executive board no they need they need to have the full-time uh, uh <clears throat> pay but the rest of us no we don't need that in our bylaws okay we don't need that they want, uh, Mark Weems wants 55 hours at top pay grade, some stuff. Also, we want to give the executive board, instead of a $50 cell phone allowance, $50 cell phone allowance. Give me a break. Uh, now it's going to be 75 We don't want that in the bylaws, y'all. It's fine the way it is. We, we really don't even need that. We can't afford it. Let me tell you, these officials are spending our money on games, literal games and trips. All they care about is their freaking salary. Why is, first of all, they're so obs they were so obsessed to getting rid of me. We can't even get the president to tell us what, she, what she's doing with the contract negotiations. But she does a video about uh, voting to put charges on an officer for violating their fake code of conduct. Well, we shot that down, right? The members, y'all stood up. Y'all showed me, said, Brother Eric, keep fighting. Just be careful. Don't let them throw you out. All right. But now look at them. The next month, what are they, what are they, what is the business? Money. It's always about getting money for themselves. You know why they want to make their salaries permanent in the bylaws? It's because me and others are speaking up. They know we don't approve of this crap. So they want to make it permanent because all they want is money. They love money. They hate democracy. And they'll say, oh, democracy, democracy. Nah, they, he, listen, if you motion for something and then it's seconded, it has to have a vote. That's democracy. But that's not how they do it. If the president does not like what you motioned and, 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 and doesn't like that it was seconded, they will shut it down. That is not democracy, okay? Democracy is ugly. Democracy is messy. You know why? Because people have to debate people got to argue and you know what that's a good thing you don't want to have everybody just okay i say we do this and everybody goes right along with it no we're a union we're not some personality cult some kind of church but they act like it they act like they're gods show up on march 12th at 6 30 p.m and i want you to show up and i want you i I'm asking you, okay? You do what you want, but I'm asking you. Don't let them put these salaries, these six-digit salaries, this 10% in uh, pay premium for executive board and this ridiculous cell phone allowance increase. Don't let them do this, please. There's some other good, there's some decent stuff coming up. Mark Weems put in, uh, will alternate between... Uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays every month, every other month or something like that for the membership meetings. That's cool. But this money stuff, my God. Look, our contract has expired, okay? Why the secrets? 
why won't President Penny answer my email? What, what's going on? Because members are asking me every day. And I tell them, uh, she won't tell me. I mean, it looks bad. It looks bad. So please show up. Please show up. This is our chance. You all showed that you are the boss of the union, the members. When you destroyed those false charges uh, to set me up, right? You had Overstreet wanted to punish me because I'm ranting. You know, I mean, he's out of his mind, these people. They're obsessed with silencing me. But they're not obsessed with punishing and humiliating our greedy, stingy employer. I'm still dealing with a cold, a cough, for a whole month. For a whole month. Why? Because I can't take sick days, right? No sick days. We don't have sick days. We got to have sick days. Why aren't we making noise about this? Think about it. But we're making noise about what? Banishing ex militant union reps and getting money. Getting six-digit salaries. This is sick. This is sick. Members, show up. Shut this crap down. Peace.